Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw chibi reverse flash. So we start with a curve above the left eye. From the outside we're going to curve inwards. Coming down. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, leaving a gap in the center. We're going to curve out towards the right. Now from here let's tuck in the eyeballs underneath. So we're going to draw a circle tucked in underneath this curve. Starting on the left side, curve around back up on the right side. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So leaving that same amount of gap on the inside, draw that circle tucked in underneath that curve. Let's go ahead and draw the curves around the eyes. So on the left side here, we're going to curve down around the eye towards the bottom. Curving down. Now we're going to take that point and curve around the eye up into the center here. So curving up and in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to take the outside curve down there, and then we'll curve the inside line, connecting that point to the bottom, cross. Now let's draw the mouth opening. So in the center here, between the eyes, we're going to start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve down below the left eye, coming down. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing, coming down and towards the right. We're going to curve up the ends, so curving out and up. From here, let's tuck in the nose underneath. So I'm just going to draw a simple little curve in the middle here, leaving a little gap on either side. Below the nose, we're going to draw the mouth. So we start with a curve from left to right, going across, and we're going to turn up the outside edge, curving up. Do that on both sides. And then we're going to draw a little bracket on the outside of the mouth, just like that. And then below the mouth, we're just going to draw another curve for the bottom lip. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom part of the inside edge of the mask. So from the left side, we're going to curve in towards the center. We're going to leave a gap in the middle here. So curving down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving down and in. From these two points, we're going to angle up and in towards the mouth. Two short angled lines. We're going to connect those two points with a curve just below the lip, like that. Now from here, we can draw in the bottom of the face. So on either side of the eye, right here, I'm going to draw a little point and a point on the right side. We're going to connect those two points with a half circle going down below the chin here. Starting on the left, curve down, in towards the middle. Now we take that point and curve back up towards the right side, right into that point. And just slowly going all the way up. From here, let's go ahead and draw on the top of the head. So with all my chibis, I draw the forehead quite large. So we take these points, curve out slightly, and then up to the top of the head, which will be right about here. So I'm going to take the left side, curving out, so you can see it's a little bit of a bend going outwards towards the top of the head, right there, and then blend this in towards the right side. Coming down around the eye, and then back to that point. Let's go ahead and add some mask stitching here. So from this inner edge, we're going to curve outwards. And do that on both sides. To the same height. Now from these points, we're going to angle out with a straight line going outwards. Now I'm going to curve these back out to the side of the mask. So curving out. Like that. From here, let's draw in the ear cover. So on the side of the head here, right where that point is, we're going to draw a curve going around. Do that on both sides. And then we're going to layer in the little lightning bolts on the side. So starting on the left, on that top corner, we're going to angle out. And then we'll come down with a short angled line. From this point, we want to curve up to the tip. Now we're going to work our way backwards. So from that tip, we'll curve down so it gets a little bit wider. We'll go across with a short line, and then we'll pull that right into the side of that ear cover. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So from the top, go up in an angle, come down with a short angle. We're going to curve up to the tip, up there. We're going to work our way backwards. So curving down, going across, and then down with a straight angled line in behind there. From this point, I want to draw in the body. So with all my chibis, I always draw the head and the body about the same height. So using my opposite hand, I'll measure out the head, come down to the bottom of the feet. Halfway between the feet and the chin is where the waistline will be. So I'm going to draw the sides of the body first. So from the left side of center, I'm going to curve down and out. On the right, I'll curve down and out. So now this is the side of the waist. We're going to connect those two points with a curve along the bottom. Going across. Now from here I need to overlap some of these little belt details. So these, these two lightning bolts that come out 
on the other side of the center. So on the left side, I'm gonna go up at an angle, come down in the short angle, and then go up. I'm gonna work my way back, just like I did with the ear covers, I'm gonna come down an angle, go up, and then come back to that same starting point. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the bottom, I'm gonna go up an angle to the same height as we have on the left, come down with a short line, and then up, making sure they're roughly at the same height. I'm gonna work my way backwards. So coming down, across, and then down to that same starting point. Now I'm there in the belt in behind those two lightning bolts. So I'm gonna draw that same curve just in behind here. So curving behind, in the middle, and then up towards the right. In the center, I'm gonna draw two short straight lines for the belt buckle. From this point, I wanna draw in the symbol in the center here. So there's a reversed lightning bolt in the center. So I'm gonna start at the top, come down across with an angled line. I'm gonna go across horizontally with a short line, and then come down again. Do that one more time. So another short line going horizontally, and then back down to the tip. Now we wanna draw that same thing on the outside. So starting at the top again, I'm gonna come down with a short angled line, going out, come down, go out. Now I wanna make my way down to that point with an angled line going across. I wanna draw a circle in behind the lightning bolt. So starting at the top here, I'm gonna do a half circle going around one side, and then a half circle going around the other. From here, let's draw in a little bit of the collar. So from this corner to that corner, I'm just gonna draw a curve going down the middle and then back up. From here, I'm gonna draw a straight line down the middle behind this lightning bolt. So in the middle here, I'm gonna go straight down behind the circle and then down to the belt buckle. Let's draw some details on the chest. So on the side of the body here, I'm gonna draw an angled line going across. On the right, I'll do the same thing. Now underneath this bolt, I'm just gonna draw a curve just to separate the chest, going across like that. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna draw the character sort of in a running position. So I'm gonna draw the arm on the left first. So this arm is gonna be forward. So I'm gonna draw the arm from the shoulder coming across this way. So I'm gonna start with the hand first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the inside of the thumb, curving around, and then just above it. From here, I wanna curve around and blend in with the index finger. So curving out, back in towards the thumb, and then right here, I'm gonna pull it back. So I've got a little swirl here. It's almost like one con continuous curve going around. And let's layer in the fingers. So below this finger, I'm gonna draw a little swirl that comes around like that. And then right below that, I'll draw another curve going around. From here, let's draw on the bottom of the palm. So underneath this finger, I'm gonna curve around and tuck that in behind that thumb. Let's go ahead and draw on the bottom of the arm. So right here underneath the palm, I'm gonna curve in behind the body. Now here, I wanna draw the arm going in from the forearm to the upper arm. So right beside the thumb here, I'm gonna go across, and I'm gonna curve over and towards the shoulder. Now right where that curve is, I'm gonna curve in behind the body for some glove separation detail. Now up here, there's this little shoulder pad. So from that same corner, I'm gonna curve up and in. Let's draw the opposite arm. Now this arm, because it's forward, this arm is gonna to have to be back if he's in a running position. So the arm from the shoulder is gonna curve down towards the hand. So let's start with the arm, up, um, bottom part of the arm first, curving down. Let's round up the thumb, do a little half circle, and then right here, I'm gonna draw a little bracket. Beside the bracket towards the left, I'm gonna swirl around the bracket with a curve. Down here, I'm gonna come down and then just do an overlapping finger. And then do that one more time, but now this finger is going to go all the way up, and I'm going to go all the way behind the head. So curving up and behind the head there. Let's separate the wristband. So from that part of the wrist, I'm going to curve across the hand to the outside part of the arm. I'm going to do that same curve up here, going across. Now let's draw that same shoulder pad detail. So up here, I'm going to curve down, and this is going to curve up behind the head there. Now with the legs, now because this arm is sort of forward, the opposite leg is going to be forward as well. So starting down here, the lower torso, I'm going to draw that curve going all the way down and towards the right. Curving down like this. Now from here, this is the heel of this foot. So now because this foot's forward, you're going to see the bottom of the foot. So I'm going to draw a big oval sort of in an angle this way. Starting at the bottom, curve around. I'm going to make my way back towards this point here in the heel. Curving across like that. Now this is the bottom of the foot, so I wanna show some of the tread going this way. So starting at the top, I'm just gonna draw some even spaced lines going across the bottom of the foot. 
all the way to the toe, right like that. From here, let's go back to the toe and just draw the top of the boot, curving across like that with a short line. Up here, about halfway along this curve, we're going to draw a curve right into that hip, going across like that. Let's separate the boot. So right here, we curve across the leg. We draw a little bit of a knee pad, so down here, we curve across like that. Now, let's go back to the left leg and draw the top of the thigh. So now this thigh, because the leg's bent, you'll see the thigh and the foot tucked in behind it. So from this hip, I'm going to curve out, and I'm going to pull this around underneath the lower torso, so there's a little overlap there. I'm going to do a curve in the opposite direction for the knee pad. Now right here, I'm going to draw a curve going up, just to separate the pant detail. From this point, I'm going to go up in an angle, and then just out in the opposite direction to the side of the leg. Under here, you can see the foot tucked in underneath. So right here, right beside the knee pad, we're going to curve around and then tuck that in behind the body. Let's add some more detail on the side. So we have a stripe here from the knee pad. We're going to curve up there. And then right here, we have the little line. So we're just going to draw a little line like that. In the toe area, you're going to see a little bit of the tip of the sole. So right here on the side, we're going to curve around and then just taper that out to the side. I want to give them a couple extra frown lines in the center here between the eyes. So right here on the left, we're going to curve up. And on the right, we'll do a shorter one in the opposite direction. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chidi Reverse Flash. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Chidi playlist. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.